Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss and show how we mock, how we intercept and change the API request of a web application by using Selenium 4. Okay, so like example, if I refresh this application, you can see this is getting the information of weather information of my current location. So how this is working? So if I inspect this, right, I go to the network tab and refresh the application. Here you will see WS API, this API request sent and it will receive the weather information of my IP address. So it will pick the IP address and then based on the IP address, it will give us, give me the uh, information. So if I hit this API, because this is the get, get request, so let's see if I hit this API in Postman. Get weather. Next year, the type is get. Let's send the request. And you can see same response I am getting, right? What information is available here, as well as same information I am getting here in the uh, browser. Okay, now if I want to check this is working also fine for different location, right? In that case, we need to change this IP address and then we can verify because we cannot move in different location. We cannot change our IP address, system IP address, right? So in that case, if we pass different parameters of this IP address, then it will give us the different uh, location details. So there are some public IP address right like i am going to pick one ip address so this is the ip address of the location united state okay so if i paste here and search you will see this is giving the information of united states similar type if i change this ip address and then we will get here los angeles united state of america so this be the information i am getting from the us united state of america now how we change this because when we are refreshing the page it will automatically pick the ip address from the system okay and then it sent to this is ip address of the network right my network then it will send the information and receive the uh, be the information right okay so if is there any way we can change this when it low page is load before sending the this request if i change the ip address then we can get the different location uh, with the information on the UI. So let's see, suppose that I'm going to change this by using this uh, IP address, right? So let's see how we do this in Selenium web driver. So I have already written a code, right, here. So it will just navigate the URL and it will get the my current location with that information on the UI you will see. And you can see. Now I'm going to show how we change the IP address before the request sent to get the weather information while navigating the application. So for that, that as we know and we discussed in the previous tutorial, we have dev tools, right? Let's create a dev tool object tools driver dot get dev tools so first step we need to create dev tools because by using the dev tools we can intercept the request and change the request detail now for second second step we need to create a session dev tool session session is started okay now Next, we need to add the listeners. Dev tools dot add listeners. So here, basically, we can pass some events, right? So in the previous tutorial, we were getting the API details, re response, and uh, details as well as well as the request detail. In that case, I use the network tab. But in this case, we have fetch class, right? A domain of letting clients substitute browser's network layer with the client code, right? So this will be helpful 
to get the network layer with the client code. So I am going to use this fetch domain fetch class. So here I will pass the fetch and then event. What we need to pass here? A request pass fetch and then request pass request passed inter, uh, event we need to pass. Here we have a request passed. Now, second we need to pass the consumer object, right, which will handle the, this request. Means when a request passed, then it will handle. Means it will get the information of the details. So, a request. Then here I need to use the lambda expression. Okay. Now, using this request consumer object, let me use this consumer. By using this request consumer object, we can get the request. Equal to get a request okay so this request holds all the information of the request so we need to use the same uh, dev tools version 111 uh, this page also import the 11 v11 right so now next we need to check the url so we have get url so it will return us the current API current request URL. Okay. So this will give us this complete URL, right, of the weather. This complete URL we will get. If I change this information in any way, right then we can uh, we can if i change this with different ip address then we will get that ip address request so let me first replace this from the request so first of all we need to check if current request dot contains because we want to change we want to update only the url of the api not other url right so let's copy this and add a condition here recurrent url dot contains ws api dot php question mark this okay then here we need to change the url otherwise we can skip let's see how we change the url a string updated url current url dot replace so i am going to directly replace because i know this is the ip address but we need to also pass the regular expression or split something then we can append right some different ways because it's not fixed always uh, same ip address right so this ip address i am going to replace with the new one So new one I can copy here from here this IP address and paste. Okay, now my URL updated URL is uh, ready. So next we need to send the request. So we need to call the dev tools dot send. Okay, here we need to pass the command fetch dot continue request okay here we need to pass some parameters right what is the parameters if i go here okay if i go in this method you can see first it accept the request id next its url next method post data 
and then header as well as intercept so these are the parameters we need to pass and if i go in the ui here in dev tools so there is a method continue request right if i click on this you will see a request id url method post data headers as well as the intercept response these values we need to provide okay so how we get the request id so basically uh, this consumer right it contains the request id so we can use consumer object consumer request consumer this one dot get a request id right so request id is passed here now second parameter we need to pass this updated url okay next parameter is method so how we get the method we can get the method by using this request okay dot get dot method similar type we need to pass here the header so request dot get uh, post data right third is post this one is post data post data then headers dot get headers last one is the intercept response true so we get this these are optional so we can pass the optional dot input optional dot okay so these are also optional type so we can use this optional dot of and then value value is updated url okay all these also we need to pass the optional so just we can pass also the optional uh, empty right because because these are not mandatory so just pass the optional empty okay now request is ready right so first it will uh, resume passed first it will passed and then we can capture the current url right and then updating the current url by using this replacing the ip address and then sending the request again for the remaining for the remaining request we can send without modify modification so in that case we can use here current url if we get only this particular condition met then we will update the url and send the request for other condition we will use the uh, same request and send okay so the code is ready now if i run you will get the us with the information running the test okay so i missed here uh, one things that's why it's not change right so what we need to do here we need to enable a dev tool dot send right fetch dot enable and here basically uh, first of all we need to enable this and if you go in the fetch right so we need to call this a uh, method fetch enable okay this method uh, need two arguments and both are optional right so let's here use the optional dot empty okay both argument so if we are not enabling this then it will not intercept the request right so first step we need to create a session then we need to enable okay uh, we need to if we want to execute any method right on that then we need to use the send so i use the send method here then fetch enable right so it will it, it will enable the uh, fetch right uh, modules and then we can uh, send the request for pass and the remaining step we can do. now i am running and you will see it will 
update the uh, IP address and we will get the US uh, weather information. Yeah, you can see we are getting the visit of, of Lance, Los Angeles, California, United States. Okay, if we want to get the information of different location, then we can copy the different uh, IP address. Like this is the IP address of the Indonesia, right? Let me copy this and you will see we will get the information, visa inf visa information of Indonesia. Yeah, you can see this is weather information of Indonesia we can get. So hope uh, this will be helpful how we intercept the request and modify the request details and we can get the corresponding response. If you like the tutorials, please click on the like button, subscribe the channels, share this tutorial to your friends and colleagues and thanks for watching the video.